Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to Mary's Little House. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon. It's a little overcast. It's in the 80s uh, and it's threatening to rain uh, a little. Uh, the, do the, the dog's uh, peanuts asleep has taken his Sunday nap. He knows this is the day of rest. He's observing the, the uh, Sabbath uh, rest. I, angels walking around sort of doing a tap dance uh, through the on the kitchen floor in the uh, in the foyer out here and um, Mary goes she disappears during the day she's very nocturnal she's our our night cat the night the midnight uh, raider or, or rider whatever so I'm uh, and uh, Betty's finishing up the dishes uh, up from lunch uh, uh, our people are all gone it's a quiet back at Mary's little house after a weekend of activity of, of prayer and uh, visiting the missionaries of charity with the mass and, and beautiful mass and, and um, uh, uh, adoration of the blessed sacrament right in their convent chapel. We didn't go to the local parish, but they invited us right into the intimacy of their convent chapel where our Lord Jesus was exposed. I'm so grateful to be here with you. I would like to pick up on uh, or do some things. I, I'm always forgetting that I have to look at my monitor to see how much time I got. I get so caught up in the subject. That's not an excuse. I'm not trying to cop out. But it, so I don't conclude my YouTubes very, very well. I get just cut off. And if I would watch the monitor, I would, I would know how much time I got. But anyway, there are two things I left hanging, <coughs> excuse me, from last YouTube on Cindy's uh, song number seven. To, uh, you're at, this is Cindy's song number eight, but there are two things I forgot to, 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 to complete, to, to draw to a, a conclusion. Oh, all of these mir like miracles, apparitions, locutions, um, all of those things that are supernatural, for for us in the Catholic Church, we 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 always submit them to the uh, teach to the uh, discernment of the bishop, uh, uh, the lawful authority, the Pope, the Church, uh, 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 and they're the ones that will say this is of God or this is of, of not of God. So when I'm talking to you about Cindy's gifts, spiritual gifts, or some phenomena that happen. Don't worry, we're not uh, promoting that. But always, always, when we say it, we always submit obediently and humbly to the judgment of the church. So, so you're covered out there, and you won't get anything that is that is wrong because all these things have to be submitted to the church. Uh, and the church is Jesus left an authority to to help us, so we won't be led by any other spirit but but by the holy spirit so be assured of that and that the all the, that we say we say only in in uh, the, on the uh, humble obedience to the discernment of the church we don't say that they're authentic and everything yes we can discern them uh, uh as we go but ultimately the church has the final say and all that we say about Spiritual things, locutions and miracles and and uh, uh, spiritual uh, wonders and signs and wonders, it will all be submitted to the church. So be at peace about that. The other thing is, oh, I left you right. I, I oh, I, I, when I preview the uh, the last YouTube, I said, oh my goodness, here I see the saints are real. The saints are, yes, the the relics are here waiting for the resurrection of the of the body. But I forgot to say, they are with us. They, they're conscious. They are, like St. Paul said, uh, or the author of Hebrews said, we have a, <coughs> a great cloud of, 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 of the holy ones, of saints above us. I always think like we're in a, the Super Bowl or, you know, the big uh, football bowls and all the saints are in them. Just, and we're, we're in the, uh, on, the, uh, on the playing field and they're rooting us on and praying for us and pleading to God for us and everything interceding for us and that's what we believe in the saints we don't adore them or take away from jesus in fact they are reflections of jesus so at some point like francis the love of poverty or 
uh, our our, uh, our Saint Maria Garay, the love of purity, of bodily purity. Uh, all all of you know the saints are, show Jesus. They don't get in front of Jesus. They point to Jesus by their virtues. We just say, so Jesus is so. He's God and man. He, we need so many uh, examples to, to to fill in the picture of Jesus, and, and and the church gives us these saints to inspire us that we may uh, uh, encourage us that we may be saints too. Not in the way we don't ape the saints, but we we imitate their fidelity to 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 uh, to God, to His will, to please only God, to love only God, who who deserves all our love. So that's what we mean about intercession of saints. So we don't adore them or all that stuff. I, I when I was growing up, I, I I heard my Protestant friends, you adore you adore Mary or you adore the statues in the church. I didn't never understand what they were talking about because we don't do that. It's like when we have a picture of our loved one, you know, uh, we don't and like you kiss it and everything and love it. That's just the picture, but we're doing it what it, with the, what the picture represents. It's so obvious in daily life. Everybody's, you have a picture of your loved one in your billfold and you know, the kids. No, then, you're not, not uh, saying that those are the kids or anything. Uh, anyway, that's, that's why we have the sacramentals. Sacramentals are the things that remind us of God and of the saints that, that ignite our, 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 our memory, uh, our, um, that, that, that remind us that, that, uh, of, of their virtue or calling God love, God's love for us. That's all. It doesn't take away. God alone we, ad we adore, we worship. God alone, God alone, God alone. And uh, the saints help us, and Blessed Mother helps us. Her whole life, I told the people last night at the Rosary, at the Lord's Grotto, that, that, that Mary just wants to show her baby, her Jesus, at the third mystery. She, she gives birth to Jesus in Bethlehem. Show it to the little people, those shepherds. They're the first ones there, you know, in that humble stable. And then later on, she heard those camels coming and with those majestic kings and magi coming but they came like the shepherds they came and adored the lord and they found her with in the arms of mary with mary and they they, they took off their crowns they were humble and laid them on the ground and and they offered their gifts oh so beautiful i love those three guys <laughs> those the magi we got so many images of them i i told you that that um in South America, they they have a big deal for Epiphany, almost biggest that we have for Christmas. Uh, and but the, the Magi coming and knocking on the door, looking for Jesus, and the people, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing. The, and they they have the three kings, um, and they have just separate sets of the three kings. And and said we never had any, and we always, we prayed that we would get that. Get, get some three kings like that. We have three kings with all our cribs, our nativities, but just as separate entities. And 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 one day on the Feast of the Epiphany, after we prayed that prayer, been to South America, to Santo Domingo, and saw the great love they had for the three kings in the stores which we couldn't afford. Anyway, we were at Walmarts of all places. And they had this where they have this after Christmas thing and all the sales, all the stuff they want to get rid of, their clearance shelves. Well, Cindy always knew where those were. And we just happened to go back there on the Feast of the Epiphany. And what was in the aisle, literally we had to trip over it, was a big uh, um, fireplace, um, you know, those screens for a fireplace uh, of the Three Kings. It's still in there. My, my son Scott says... Uh, Padre, you got to get rid of that. You know, it's it's not Christmas. We still have it up there. We, we love the three kings, and uh, um, that we have many. Uh, someday, when I'm dead and gone, maybe the ministry will have just a great collection of three kings, uh, because it, they're they're so noble and with uh, and so wise and everything, so humble to bow down to Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Oh my goodness! All right, goodness! I don't have time. Okay, but my my, my introductions get get carried away, as you see there. I, I know some of the people who listen to me all the time get a little frustrated with me. I don't blame them. Today, I want to talk about the personal gifts of Cindy. Here's a picture of her when when she had first started the ministry, and we had just she had not me, but she had just moved into the um, Mary's little house. She's sitting in the kitchen. She's got a 
one of those butternut uh, uh, tops on and a, and a jumper like anything. Here. Uh, look at that smile. She's just there. Oops. My stream went out on me. Oh, here we are. Uh, she, she's this there. She's so calm. She's, she's, there's something so, so simple about her. Like a little girl. It's a, that's, at the same time, she was a classy and sophisticated woman of the world. She lived in the corporate world for many years. She was a microbiologist, and you would never tell it from this picture. She, there's nothing snooty or snobbish about her. And her laugh was infectious and loud, almost too loud to be, oh, to be cool. You know, she was just so natural and, and, and very wholesome about life and, and uh, the beauty of life and the beauty of, of everything, of, our, of, our, of womanhood and of manhood. And she just had a great love for life and a joy of life. And, um, and, and uh, she, she also, she was playful. And I would say, well, I'm just being stuck in the mud. I'm so reserved and everything. I remember one Chris New Year's Eve, uh, her and uh, some of the members of the ministry were here celebrating, and she got a skillet and a and a big steel spoon and was starting to beat the beat it for when 12 o'clock hit the new New Year, and here I was standing there not knowing what to do, because I didn't I wasn't in that skillet stuff and making noise and everything, and I saw her she came out to you know out of the kitchen and. I was just sort of standing there like a bump in the, uh, a bump in the, I don't know, a log. In, in the, but anyway, I just was so embarrassed. I didn't know what to do. And she, her face just fell. I said, and then I, I tried to encourage her again because I wasn't with all this communication. I didn't know I wasn't that way. But she, she, she wanted me to be that. She wanted me to be happy and joyful. I, I was worried about our, our relationship, you know, how what people are thinking. You know, we were traveling all over the world. And, she, she said, what, you know, we're not doing anything. We're just doing the ministry and everything. She was very wholesome and very um, courageous and, and, and natural and authentic. And I told her that no one's ever spoke the truth. And she spoke some hard truth to me than, than her in the whole world, in the whole world, in my, all my life. She, she loved me enough that today's gospel is about correction of uh, of your of your brother or sister that is in wrong she was she wasn't afraid to correct she wasn't afraid afraid to confront me in the things and she is she called uh, sometimes she felt bad or something that says Sydney uh, you give me the greatest love you give me the truth about myself and about things and uh, no one's ever spoke the truth to me like you have uh, you know how to truly love this was before we were married and all this. We never dreamed of marriage or anything like that. That wasn't on our radar scheme. Uh, this was, but, but our, our, we had a wonderful, wonderful relationship as brother and sister as we went about the, uh, the world, literally the globe, spreading the love for, for, for life, for, 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 the, for, for the unborn and, and with, the, with the help of the little infant Jesus of the unborn, this right over here, this, uh, excuse me. Uh, this right here, the, the, that's all been all over the world. But anyway, I was what I wanted to share with you. Uh, she was skillful. She managed things. She set up. <coughs> we didn't have any money except our our stepson's uh, uh, passes. He worked for the airline, so so she he got free passes for us. She set up the hotels. We went uh, went uh, to Europe. Uh, with, with practically nothing, but we had, we got through it. We we she managed all of that to visit the holy sites and and places uh, of of pilgrimage. So she she was intellectual. She she was uh, excelled in her profession as a microbiologist, winning for her company many patents. She even defended the patents. Or when the product was having trouble, she would they would send her off. She would troubleshoot for them. For the company to teach them how to use their products, chemical products and things like that. So she was a very gifted woman, but you would never know it. There was nothing, there was no errors or she was what you see is what you got. Almost, uh, 
shocking because she was so natural and her, her, her laugh, you know, even put me off sometimes. I would just, 